Welcome to the Elevate Everyday Podcast, back with my trusty co-host, Coach Herb. And we're going to be talking about things that we hear people say that's just complete BS and just kind of like debunking things that people think and say um, when we when we get on calls with people. So um, first one I wrote down, Herb, is, you know, people say this a lot, like, I don't want to starve myself to lose the weight. Like I'm going to, I feel like I'm going to be super hungry. Like I, I don't want to starve myself to get where I want to go. So um, what, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I mean, first of all, it's a misconception. Um, people think that they have to give something up to get something else. And that's not how it is. Actually, 90% of our clients can't eat the amount of food that's in their program to lose weight. Um, again, your metabolism acts like a fire. The more food you throw on it, the hotter it burns, but it's, it's good food now, right? So it's not the sloppy hamburgers. So now it's, you know, we got you on 16, 1700 calories of clean food. That's a lot of food. Um, yeah. So you're not going to be, you're not going to be hungry on a good program to lose weight. That's simple. That that's one way to gauge whether you're with the right trainer, or you're with the right nutritionist is if you're still hungry, you're not with the right person. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think to double down on what you said with you know, when you're eating the right foods, if you're eating clean, you know, it's, it's completely true. It may sound ridiculous. People that aren't working with us on, on this podcast. Um, if you're listening to this and you're not one of our clients, but most of our clients recently, especially, I feel like have been like, this feels like a lot of food. Like I, I'm full, like, you know, they, they feel like it's a lot. And it's because when you eat clean, right, it, it is a lot of volume, but the calories are low. So you're going to lose weight. All right. So hundred percent. So yeah. Yeah, we don't need to beat a dead horse with that one. That's 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 a pretty easy one to to, to overcome and debunk right there. Um, and if you don't yeah. believe us, you know, give us you know, reach out to us. We'll 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 tell you you know, kind of just how yeah. that works. But yeah, give me thirty days, I'll show you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So the the other one, you know, I, I wrote this down and we were we were laughing about this recently. Herb, it's like I don't want to get too big. I don't want to lift and get all bulky and and too big. So what yeah. what are your what are your thoughts on that? Man, if it was that easy, dude, I'd be sitting here at 300 pounds and a monster. <laughs> yeah. um, nothing happens accidentally. Um, you hear that one more from women than guys. Um, yeah. Hey, I don't want to get big arms. And you're over there like, I'm killing myself trying to get big arms. It's not going to happen accidentally. So, yeah. you know, everybody's working within their genetics. And the whole idea is you just want to be in good shape, healthy, and have a lifestyle that will help you have be able to get out and do things the rest of your life. So yeah, it's just kind of funny when people say that. Yeah. It's like, you're not, you're not going to just touch a weight and just all of a sudden like your biceps are going to grow two inches. It's like, <laughs> yeah. And, you know? I mean, if people really realized how hard it was, I think people would be like, Oh shit, this is going to take a while because literally if you start and you're all natural and you're in your early twenties, you got a good five years before you need to even step near a stage or even think about it because you got to build it up. Yeah. Right. It takes time. Yeah. Yeah. People, people think they're going to look like Arnold just from getting in the, in the gym three times a week and, and being on a normal routine. It's like <laughs> that, that their expectations are just so out of, out of touch with reality. Yeah. So yeah, it's definitely. Um, yeah. And then the other one is just, you know, I, I can't get to the gym three times a week, you know, or, you know, even, you know, I think even more, even more frequent it's, People say I, I can't get to the gym for, you know, five times a week for hours, or they just think, you know, I, I can't make it to the gym. Like this is going to sacrifice all my free time and everything like that. So what, what are your thoughts on that? Herb? If somebody's got a good program, they know what they're doing. So they've been taught properly, have good form and are warmed up properly three days a week for 45, 50 minutes on the weights, cardio based on your, your, uh, your motivation and stuff. Um, that's all you need. That's all you need because 80% of your results is going to come from the food, which we already talked about that you need to eat and you're going to eat plenty of it. So you don't grow in the gym. You do damage in the gym. You grow in the kitchen, right? So yeah, the workouts are the, we find with clients, the workouts are pretty, pretty easy. It's the nutrition that messes everybody up because you got to think about it. You got to plan it out. So um, you're, you're in charge of your own success. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. I wanted to, to double down on this because and we were just talking to him today, but our transformation challenge winner this year was literally for the three months and he lost 30 pounds, 6% body fat. Uh, he was working out three times a week for like 45 minute workouts. 
All right. So in because just like you said, Herb, like the, most of the results, if you do it the right way, are setting up the diet side um, and having these things work together to work smarter, not harder, being efficient, and effective to reach the goals. Right. It's it's about the strategy more so than just like try and just white knuckle it and just like outwork, um, you know, and just work harder. Right. We we want to work smarter and have that strategy in place. So hundred yeah. percent. And you yeah. know, it, it, it it's it's all about the time you put in right? You don't have to put a lot in. It's just about get in there, do it right, get out, right? Yeah. People, if somebody tells me, her, man, I've been in the gym, I go two hours a day, two hours a day, five days a week. The problem is you did not go out and learn how to do it properly. That's like me seeing some Kung Fu movie on a Saturday night and going out and I'm going to beat the shit out of a bunch of people because I saw a Kung Fu movie, right? You have no idea what it takes and I need for, for in, in this case with weight reduction and, 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 and nutrition and stuff, man, get someone to show you how to do it right. You save a lot of time. You save a lot of money. You save a lot of aggravation. You're like, oh, man, I did. I wasn't doing that right. But I saw Joe doing it. Yeah. Well, you know, Joe kind of picks his nose and stuff, too. So I wouldn't go along with what a lot of Joe's doing. So the biggest thing I could recommend to people if you're going to go into anything is seek out a mentor, seek out somebody that's already done what you're doing. First thing they're going to teach you is to avoid all the problems and all the mistakes they made and teach you how to do it right. I mean, this makes sense to me. Yeah. yeah and then to kind of piggyback off of that one, um, another thing we we hear a lot or I do when I get on you know consultations with people and stuff like that is like, I don't want to have to do cardio for hours every week, right? So, you know, I feel like a lot of people think lose weight they think cardio and, and they think they think like we said earlier it's like they think lifting weights like getting bigger so, so what are your thoughts on kind of the, the cardio piece the the car okay so first of all cardio is for your heart if you're a runner you're an athlete yes there's a lot of cardio training specifically designed for that but if you come to me and say herb i gotta drop 60 pounds my knees hurt you know, I've got a bad back. I'm not having you do any cardio. I'm having you get out there on the weights, hit the weights, get your metabolism ramped up and start performing that way, right? Once that happens, you throw the cardio in where you need to based on what your overall results are, okay? People get too, the cardio is a good out because you can say, I did my cardio, it's just not working. Well, if it's not working, you know, and I've used this analogy with my clients before. I said, if your kid is five years old and he's still crawling, he hasn't learned to walk, you're going to tell him to crawl the rest of his life or are you going to try to figure it out, right? So if, if you can't figure it out, guys, you know, I mean, obviously it's a, uh, you know, a, a petty saying, but if you can't, if you seek somebody out that knows what they're doing, give me a call, give me a DM, let me know, because these things frustrate me when people put such effort into it that they don't get the results because they're doing it in the wrong direction, right? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And yeah. And like we said earlier, it's like, if you're setting things up, right, because we, like we said, with our transformation challenge winner, lifting three times a week, lost 30 pounds. And, and the other piece to that is he he didn't lose any pounds of muscle, right? He he maintained all his muscle while he lost, lost 30 pounds of pure fat. Um, if we were having him do hours of cardio and neglecting lifting weights during that time period, I guarantee you, and he still lost, you know, even if he lost the 30 pounds, some of that would have been muscle if he wasn't yeah. doing enough, um, you 100%. Know, yeah, resistance yeah. training to maintain yeah. that. So, um, that's the other piece is like, yeah, sure. You know, your weight loss may be the same, but what's the overall goal here? Like, are you trying to just lose weight or are you trying to lose pure fat and improve your body composition? Cause yeah. if that's, if that's your goal, then, then yeah, the, the resistance training is what you want to prioritize with the time that you have. So exactly. Yeah. There's the, there's a correct, I mean, I can pound a nail with a screwdriver. It's just not the right tool to use. <laughs> yeah. Right. So we want you to use the right tools. The, the, the big one for me, Cage lately has been the proverbial I'm too old to get started. I'm like, yeah. guys, that, that's crazy. Right. I mean, there's no better reason to get started is because you're older, you're dropping, you're dropping muscle mass three, four times faster than somebody half your age, right? And your immune system's low and everything. So muscle equals your immune system, your energy level, everything, right? I mean, just look at people that are, you know, muscular in shape sports people. I mean, they're going all the time. They have that energy. They built that endurance up. So when somebody, you know, 40s, 50s, you know, you guys know I'm 59, says I'm too old to get started. It's like, dude, I'm starting a game. It's never too old to start, right? Yeah. I mean, I competed against uh, one gentleman in bodybuilding. He was 84 years old on stage, 
Wow. And he didn't even start bodybuilding until he was 62. Wow. 62, which, you know, sounds old, but this guy's 84. So that was 22 years ago. Yeah. Right. And he's competed in six shows wow. and he just loved it. He just, and he won because there's nobody else in that age group. But he said, and he, you know, and that was his story was that weightlifting and bodybuilding saved his life because he was just, he, he couldn't get out of bed. He was sore and everything. And then someone told him, you need to take care of yourself, mm-hmm. you know? So hopefully we, we can get to the younger crowd, like Cade's group and stuff. And I wait till you get to my age, <laughs> but I see people my age and they're not working out and they're, they can't get up out of a chair. I mean, it's, it's sad because you can do it. There's no yeah. better country in the world to do whatever you want to do and get all the information and the right information. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I was, that was the next question I was going to ask you on that. I had that written down for you and it's, and it's the one, yeah, like I wasn't going to bring it up because <laughs> obviously I'm young. And so it, it means more coming from you, Herb. So um, I think yeah. it's, it's awesome that we have you, you know, speaking on that. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's very, very, very important that everybody, anybody works out. Whatever your take is. Now, obviously, I bodybuild. Cade's a power lifter. We cross over. We do different things together. It's the same thing. But find what your niche is that's going to keep you happy, keep you in shape, and make you feel better. You know, and like we've been talking the last couple of days on our calls, in our group calls, 90% of what we need to work on is our mental skills, our, our mindset, right? When people look at the weight and go, oh, I can't do that. You're right. You look at the weight and say, you can do it. You're right. You know, it's, it's a belief system, right? That's why, you know, for me and my career training people, 99% of the time I trained women. And that was because I put myself in a position where I worked with a lot of women that thought, oh, I can't do this. And then once you show them they can, they're like, oh shit, I love this, right? You don't have to overcome those egos of, oh, I've been doing this for 20 years. Yeah, that's why your back hurts, right? You've been doing it wrong, okay? So again, no matter what age, there is no better time to get started than now. You know, they've got, you got two words that says day one or one day. One day I'm going to do this. No, no, day one is today, right? So again, you know, oh, I waited too long. No, you didn't. The day after you die, you waited too long. You know, other than that, you got a chance. Yeah. And and I've actually been hearing some research coming out about how when you're older, if you've never lifted before, like, it's crazy the progress you can mm-hmm. actually still make um, with like building muscle and losing fat. Like if you, if you've never lifted before, like if, if you're like, if you're a newbie, right. You, you still get those newbie gains, even if you're way older, like if you're in your sixties, you still get those newbie gains. So I, I just thought be that was careful. interesting. Be careful on that way older thing. <laughs> if you are slightly ancient, older. like Herb, more mature. <laughs> if you're seasoned yeah. guys um yeah i have experience <laughs> you learn all the world you learn them all <laughs> yeah but like like you said too if you guys are closer to you know to my age it's like you know don't let it get to that point where where you're you're thinking in the future like i wish i had started when i was younger it's like get, get ahead of the game now right so so it doesn't have to get to that um yeah. i mean and, you know what's nice about being in this group you know i'm older some experience over here in bodybuilding you're younger powerlifting everybody in our group is, comes from a different walk of life. Yeah. We got a mom and a son doing their own thing in the oh, same yeah. program, yeah. right? We got, we got ladies, we got men, we got older people, we got people in different countries. Everybody's looking for the answers to how do I maximize my time on this planet and enjoy it? Because for, you, for me, it's not about the, the distance, it's about enjoying the, drive, the ride. Yeah. You know, so yeah, it, no matter what age guys, it's a walk of life. It's great. It's all for you. Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent. Well, we'll go ahead and wrap this one up. You know, this one's pretty short and sweet guys, but we just wanted to kind of just like, honestly, just cut through the BS that we hear a lot of yeah. times. <laughs> I feel like this, this was therapeutic for me and I hope it still yeah. resonates with some of you guys and, you know, just helps you overcome some of those limiting beliefs that you have, or maybe that pop up in your head and you're trying to get, get rid of them. But, you know, um, let us know if you guys got any questions never, never hesitate to reach out to me or Herb on, on social media. Um, yeah. other than that, we'll see you guys in the next episode. And in the meantime, elevate every damn day. Peace. Peace. Elevate. Only obligation is to tell it straight.